Hey y'all, welcome to Unboxing Discovery by G. My name is Gina, I'm just Cat Cats down there. And oh, today, one of my favorite boxes is in. Y'all, I was a bit confused about this one. This is my habitation box. Now, I was charged, oh, hey, Kelly Cat. It's just like gonna tear the whole thing down, my goodness. Um, I was charged December 3rd for my habitation box. So I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna get a December box. Now, you know, I used to get habitation two, which is the larger box, and I also used to get it every single month. Well, I sized down because I'm trying to stay more in my budget, which, you know, I haven't been staying in my budget. So I got habitation one, and I'm getting it quarterly instead, which is $69.99 for that and you get, I think it's like four to six, yeah, four to six high quality home decor products. Um, if you do get the Habitation too, you can get it quarterly as well. It's just the price varies a lot. Well, what are you doing, baby girl? What are you doing? You gonna say hi? Please say hi? She's like, no, I'm gonna scratch my little foot because you got in a spot. <laughs> anyway. Let me, let me start this over and see if I can make heads or tails of these prices. There's so many prices because there's so many different ways to get this box. And of course, like every other box, if you commit to a longer period of time, you get a lower price. So the Habitation one, like I said, which is six to four high quality products is $69.99 a box. Like I said, if you go to all the way to 12 months, it'll be like $65. It just kind of goes down incrementally. You can do three or six months as well. Um, Habitation 2 comes with seven to nine high quality products and it's $120 a month. Now, if you go down to committing to every 12 months, you get it for $105, which is what I was doing before. It's $105 a month. I do think it is worth it. Absolutely love home decor. A lot of the items that you see sitting around in my background, I did get from the Habitation Box because I am not, I, I can't make myself go and buy home decor. I can buy clothes, I can buy makeup, but when it comes to home decor, I am horrible at putting things together. I'll just go and say, oh, that's pretty and buy it. And then I'm like, well, where in the world am I gonna put it? And especially in this house, you know, we moved in here this was my in-laws home before they passed away and we haven't changed hardly anything. We still have their furniture in the living room. We still have these gray panels. We intend to eventually make it more of our own. We just haven't gotten there yet. So I'm just not the decorating kind. Well, Kalia Gray, who does this box really is, she's actually a home decor specialist. I'm not sure they're title, but that's what I call her. She's a specialist at it. And her sister, I believe is too. And actually she does a different um, type of subscription box. The, the little tear trays that are so cute. And so you might want to check her out too. See if I can find a link and put it below. But anyway, uh, like I said, you can do monthly or you can do quarterly. And if you do want to try this box and use my link below, you can get $10 off your first box. So I really appreciate it if you do that. It does help me out to keep bringing you content and making these videos. Girl, could use some help right now. Whew, I let that credit card go up too high. <laughs> All right, so Habitation Box. Um, she doesn't put paperwork in her boxes. She actually puts a QR code and so I went ahead and slit the box open so I could scan the QR code and I would be able to tell you a little more about each piece. I normally do pop those screenshots up that I take of that page in here somewhere as I'm going along. So I hope you enjoy that. Um, let me see, what is this month's theme? She always themes it, she always color coordinates it. She has a little color swatch thing that she puts on there. It's, it's very professional, very cool. Oh, and a fun thing about this box, if you subscribe to this box, you can actually get home decor advice. You can send her a picture of that one room that you just don't know what to do with or a corner that just doesn't look right and she'll give you free advice. 
Now, I don't know if you've ever tried to employ someone like that, but those people charge by the hour and they charge way up there. That's, that's really an amazing perk to this box. So really cool. So this month's theme is the January box. Okay, so maybe they just charged me a month early for my January box. Cause I was really scared. I was actually about to reach out to them and ask them if the box was missing. But I, then I got it. So I was like, well, I guess I don't have to reach out to them. I got what I paid for. That's the important thing. So the January box includes items that are multifunctional and can easily blend with many decor styles. Items were selected that would help to transition into winter decor with minimal design aesthetic in mind. Okay, so more of a minimal type look. That's cool. Let me show you this box. It kind of blew me away when I saw it sitting there. I was like, this, this is an unusual shape for a box. What could be in it? So here's the box. So yeah, color me intrigued. I tried not to look at any of the pictures. You know that I tried to give you as much of a surprise as I can. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing. Let me just sit down here. I really miss getting the monthly boxes, y'all. I want them so bad, but I just had to tighten down for my budget. Um, a lot of people can't afford this box, and I even reached out to her and asked her, is there any way I can give more of a discount to my followers? And she's such a small company at this time, she can't do it. The only thing that she can do is give the advice, which I think that's nice that she's trying. And I definitely understand trying to start a business is not easy. And you are tight. Oh, you are tight. Money, money is evil. <sighs> anyway, I digress. <laughs> oh, whatever this is, it is heavy. The first thing I saw, it's another box. All right, 47th and Main is a brand I see from her a lot. A lot of the stuff is 47th and Main. I don't know if that's just a vendor that she goes to when she goes to these trade sales with her sister or what, but they make lovely things, good quality things, and I've really enjoyed having them in my home. I have to just get into it, it's the only thing. All right, gel pack. Paper wrap. Okay, we got a lid. It's a cast iron lid. Hand wash only, dry immediately. Do not let soak in water. Use oil and salt with stiff brush to clean anything away so yeah pretty much like your cast iron pot it's definitely cast iron it's gorgeous it's heavy y'all look how beautiful that is it's so i mean she's right it's minimalist it's it could fit in your country chic it could fit in you know southern decor it could fit in um more of a modern decor even i believe Look how beautiful this is. So let me see if I can find what it says about it. Pro tip, this adorable mini cast iron pot is perfect for making a, a dip, a cuiso or a dip, I can't say that word. Uh, yes, this is food safe. This is real cast iron. Be sure not to let any water stand in it. It will make it rust, you know as it could rust. I could just keep reading, hello. Um, carrying tips on your cast iron, and then it gives a allrecipes.com article. Very cool, very pretty, very cold too. <laughs> it's, it's cold here, y'all. We actually had snow last night. Um, it didn't really stick, but 
I woke up yesterday to go to church and it's sleeting and you know a winter mix a little bit of snow spitting out it turned more into snow as the day went on it was about 25 30 degrees very different it just seemed wrong <laughs> okay so here's the next thing oh look at pretty oh my goodness this one is gorgeous it's 10 Let's see. This is a rustic watering can. I don't see anything about it. Okay, no actual decor or instructions, whatever. These I think are cute to put faux flowers in. I just think they're adorable. Hello. Ooh, hi dog. <laughs> yes, I am a child. Okay, the three-year-old was supposed to come and play with me today. So yeah, I am a little goofy. But very cool, very cute, wonderful decor item. Let's move on. All right, she normally always puts some sort of greenery of some sort in here. It helps soften a space. Look how lovely this is. It's actually in a wreath type and a lot of, you know, a lot of times you see stuff sitting like this. And look how cute that is. That's very cute. This is the Sage Baby's Grass Candle Ring. So that's what that is, Baby's Grass. Hmm. Interesting. Let's move on. Okay, so here's why the box is so big and long. And this is also the last item in here. Let's see what this says. Thank you. Your purchase is extremely valuable to my small business. Each and every box is hand-packed by myself and shipped with love. I hope you enjoy your box and would love to see how you use each piece. Please tag me in your photos on social media. I look forward to seeing how Habitation Box brings joy to your home. From the creator, Kelly Agray. All right, so, y'all, this reminds me of a paddle one of my teachers had, <laughs> but, I mean, beautiful. Look at it. It's just gorgeous. I'm assuming it's supposed to be like a cutting board, but it's not food safe. It says so. Beautiful, beautiful wood. Look at that. That's so pretty. What does it say? 24-inch decorative layered cutting board but it's not food safe it's a cutting board but it's not food safe it's just decoration okay so that's what was in habitation box one if i had gotten two or the elite box i would have also got nesting bowls in a set of three and nesting trays in a set of two let's see the layering board is another versatile, fun piece. Try making a centerpiece on a dinner table or kitchen countertop. It also would look really beautiful layered with cutting boards leaning against the wall. Try hanging it from a, a hook on the side of the kitchen island. Be sure to share a photo with of how you use your layering board. So she's kind of got it just standing up over against the wall. You got this in front of it. I'll show you the pictures. You'll see them. It'll be on there. Um, oh, I would have loved to have had those little bowls. And I'll pop up the picture of the little nesting bowls and the nesting trays too that were up there. I would have loved to have had them. But were they worth the extra, what was it? 70, 30 bucks, probably worth it, yes. Can I afford it? No. So this is pretty cool. We did get four items this time. What do y'all think of Habitation Box? Uh, do you think this was worth the $69.99? I mean, if you went into a store and individually bought <clears throat> each one of these items, you probably would pay that or more. But then again, would you go in and buy them? 
I don't know. I want your opinion. I want to know if you think I'm crazy for getting this expensive box and what you think of the items, where you think I should put them. I'm so bad about knowing where to put everything. So I'm curious to know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so very much for spending time with me. I would also really love it if you would comment below and give me your opinion. While you're down there, I'd love it if you'd press all those buttons. You know, the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell button, that little share button that lets you share my videos with other people. Just press all the buttons. I love it. Don't press that dislike button though. We don't like that button. <laughs> But thank you so very much. If you do, y'all have a wonderful day. Y'all, God bless. Y'all, I'm going to share a little verse of scripture. I hope that's okay. Let me know if this is something you want to keep hearing or not. My friend Mary typed up a few for me so I could read them to you. Um, I am trusting you. I, Lord, saying you are my God. My future is in your hands. Psalm 31, 14. So, yeah, we got to remember who we worship. Y'all have a wonderful day and God bless.